Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Did you see that? Did you see it? It, it was a packet of information. I got a wireless network in my house, and I swear a packet just flew by. Of course, I can't prove that because, because you can't see a wireless network, or at least human beings can't. But it's still there, sending information back and forth. We use wireless networks all the time, pretty much everywhere. You're probably sitting in the middle of somebody's wireless network, whether you want to be or not. You thought you were likely giving up the ability to have children by standing too close to the microwave. I can't wait to see what studies they come out with 20 years from now saying, oh, that, uh, that G network that you had, yeah. Uh, hate to be the one to break it to you. Well, for the time being, I'm going to have fun sitting here within this wireless network of sorts. Sometimes we need to transmit data wirelessly, but like music, say. And if we wanted to transmit music wirelessly using iTunes, sending it to some speakers or a stereo uh, halfway across the room, we could do that if we had something like Creative's Sound Blaster Wireless. And uh, that's what I've got in my hands because Creative sent this to me to review. Works with either Mac OS X or Windows. You install the software. Uh, you uh, then uh, plug in this little USB device, flip up the antenna, and then connect this device to your speaker or stereo or whatever. And then uh, you can use the remote control it comes with to control iTunes remotely. Because that's what remote controls do. Really? I mean, you can sit close to it, but I mean, that's not as much fun as doing it, you know, far away. Remotely controlling the iTunes that you would have on the same machine as you've got the USB device connected to. You could have more than one uh, set up so that you can switch between one stereo or another stereo. And of course, uh, you know, this is something that would only do you good if you had iTunes, which most of you do. Uh, I'm not saying that you, you would want to use iTunes, but I'm saying if you already had iTunes and you've got a stereo, it's got wonderful speakers, potentially better than the speakers you have connected to your computer, or let's say you wanted to entertain friends instead of having them gathered around the computer, you'd, you'd want the uh, music playing loudly out of your stereo, but you still have your music in iTunes. This makes a nice gateway. So uh, you can connect iTunes wirelessly to your stereo without, you know, really doing much other than installing it. That's about it, really. If you want more information, head over to go.tagjag.com slash SB wireless, you know, sound blaster wireless, SB wireless, uh, and uh, let's see if is anybody going to... I'm checking the chat room right now to see if anybody's going to... Oh, very good. Someone has keyed that in. Oh, two people. have Three people have now keyed that in to the chat. See, because I, I re record these videos live. Uh, why? Because I can. And, uh, you know, me, I'm, I'm going to do it if I, if I can do it, <clears throat> even though I probably shouldn't. Oh, well. My email address is chris at perillo.com. If you know of any similar devices or setups, scenarios, whatnot, feel free to pass them along. Uh, I'd be interested in potentially taking a look. You can join us in our community of technology enthusiasts over at geeks.perillo.com. Just about everybody's got an opinion over there. And uh, you know what they say about people with opinions. Uh, wait a minute. What do they say about people with opinions? Oh, that's right. Uh, they uh, share them online everywhere. You're also welcome to join us in our chat room. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right here at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.